Hey everybody, you're watching a physio named Jonah. That's this guy. If you're into shoulder blades and learning about movement, well, you are in the right place today. Which I'm happy for you, because where else were you going? In today's video, I'm going to be helping you understand what the movements of the scapula, or the shoulder blade, actually are. This video will be a jumping off point for future ones that are going to examine the muscles that help the shoulder blade move, as well as exercises you can use to train those muscles. If you enjoyed today's video, consider hitting the subscribe button down below, as well as the thumbs up button. Both of these things really help out my channel, and I very much appreciate all of you out there who have already subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Scapular movement is the movement of this bone, the scapula, which is also referred to as the shoulder blade. There are six movements that the shoulder blade performs, and we're going to go through each one of them today with a visual example in order to help you understand what the motion happening is and what it looks like on a real person. Let's start things off with the first two motions of the scapula, elevation and depression. Elevation of the scapula happens when the shoulder blade moves up. This is a pretty easy one to understand because when we elevate, we rise. When you watch someone do a shrugging movement like this, look how the shoulder blade moves upwards. This is elevation of the scapula. This should go without saying, but depression of my scapula here has nothing to do with the shoulder blade's emotions. I mean, as far as I know. I like to think that we're pretty open with each other though, so if something was going on, they'd probably let me know. Depression of the scapula is the exact opposite of elevation. Instead of the shoulder blade or scapula moving upwards, they move downwards. Let's take a look at the next two movements, which are protraction and retraction of the scapula. This is where the naming can get a little bit more mucky, but if you think through it, it can mostly make sense. Retraction of the scapula is like retracting anything. It is a pulling back or backwards. When we think of the body, think of the chest as the front and the back as, well, exactly what it sounds like. Retraction of the scapula involves the shoulder blades moving towards one another and towards the center of the back. Protraction of the scapula is the exact opposite here. It is a moving forwards of the scapula or closer towards the chest at the front of the body. The shoulder blades move apart from one another, generally happening with movements like reaching forwards in front of us. The last movements are pretty easy to understand what's going on in terms of naming, but can just take a little bit of orientation to fully understand. Those two movements are upward rotation and downward rotation. Let's start with upward rotation. This occurs when the shoulder blade rotates toward the head or in an upward direction. When you watch the shoulder blade tilt, this is when it tilts with the bottom moving away from the spine and in an upwards direction. This is a key component of any shoulder movement that involves reaching up overhead. Downward rotation, as you can assume, is the exact opposite. The shoulder blade rotates downwards and away from the head. When you watch the shoulder blade tilt, this is when it tilts with the bottom moving towards the spine and in a downwards direction. This is a movement often associated with slouching or bringing the shoulders down. So summarizing here, those are the six movements of the shoulder blade. Elevation, depression, protraction, retraction, upward rotation, and downward rotation. Last note of the day here, often these movements do not occur in isolation. We look at them as separate from one another, but in most ways that we actually move as humans, there are multiple occurring at the same time. Let's use reaching overhead as an example to look at this. If I'm standing here and reach upwards, my scapula is going to have to do multiple things. It is going to protract, moving forwards towards its target, upwardly rotate, because my arm is raising over my head, and also potentially elevate, depending on how much I'm having to stretch out to reach my target. So in that one movement, reaching forwards and overhead, the shoulder blade is having to do three of those base components. This is essentially how physiotherapists like myself look at the body and analyze movement. We use simple motions that happen at a very specific level in the body and break down larger, more complex movements into their base components. If you can break down a big motion into its smaller pieces, then it makes it a lot easier to understand where little pieces of the chain might be going off 
and this helps us treat pain or dysfunction that's happening in the body. This series on the scapula and how it moves is going to continue next time with the muscles that cause these motions we just went through. After that, we'll go through some exercises that you can use to train those different muscles and the different movements. My hope is that by walking through a series like this, understanding the movements, the muscles that cause it, and exercises that actually use those muscles, we can get a better understanding of how the body moves, and you can apply that in your everyday context for doing the activities that you need to do. Or I hope this just helps you do better on your test, you know, whatever you need. Let me know what your feedback is on this series, as it's something I'm trying out for the first time. Let me know if you're interested if there's other things you'd like to see, other parts of the body. I could be very interested in doing this for all of the different body parts, understanding how things move and the muscles that are there and exercises. So give me your feedback. What do you think? I look forward to chatting with you in the comments section soon. But most importantly though, guys, as always, move your body, have a laugh today, and I will see you at the next video.